afternoon. <laughs> Here's Uber, hubby. <laughs> we got Jonathan and Danica in the back. Danica, is that your blanket back there? Yeah. Yeah? You're, yeah. During, because I keep a blanket in here during the winter so that it keeps her legs warm or keep her warm. Um, when we're driving into just the little areas that we go to, or you know what, I brought that because we went to the mountains a few times. Okay, so we have Jonathan and Danica going to Costco because their glasses are ready for pickup. And so we have to have them with us um, so that they can measure the ear and then the straight forward. Hmm? Do you remember what color glasses you had? Um, yeah. Yeah? And mommy. Mm -hmm. I'm filming too. You are? Yeah, she loves yeah. to vlog. She's using, um, what's that, Danny's or Daniel? Um, iPod. Um, it's one of the kids' it's one of the kids is old iPod, but it's her phone. You're, you, you're using your phone? Yeah. Yeah. I have three phones. You do? Yeah. Nice. Wow, lucky you. <laughs> Jonathan just got done with uh, his Zoom college class. What? What class was this one, bud? It's an organizational behavior. Yeah, he's in a uh, business school now. <laughs> he's a. Uh, every time I hear business school, I always think of uh, Greece. Business school dropout, or was that cosme cosmetology school dropout? <laughs> I think it was cosmetology. Yeah, cosmetology school dropout. Um. Oh, so I went to Sally's yesterday with uh, Danielle. I. Uh, I I think I film a little bit and um, Antonio and it was raining cats and dogs and squirrels and horses <laughs> it was just rain it was pouring down rain and us Washingtonians we do not uh, use umbrellas we have umbrellas at home so we bought like two of the the heavy-duty umbrella from Home Depot that opens up like the long ones and then we have like maybe three or four of the short ones and then the only umbrella that was in the car was Danica's uh, LOL little baby umbrella that can barely cover an adult size head <coughs> but um and you ended up using that and I bought the supplies to do my own hair because I always just do my hair so if you guys can see it's just I love the color that I did on this one so it doesn't have and I didn't even use a toner it was just straight out of the box I love the brownish of it. It's not orangey brown or not too much orangey brown. It's just like a nice golden brown to it. And I had used, gosh, L'Oreal, I think on this one. I had stopped at um, Walgreens and bought an $8.99 box. So really nice. But um, I want to do my hair gray, like the silver gray. Um, not silver gray all over. I want it to be like a dry brush effect to it. So salt and pepper. Um, because I'm tired of coloring my hair. Because look at that. Like the gray hair is so hard to cover with box color. And I don't want to go to the salon and pay salon prices. But I'm waiting for it to really like show the gray. And then I think I'm just going to take the leap and just do a DIY. I spent, I think, $69 for all of it, for everything that I need, which is like two colors of everything and two toners and then three or four con deep conditioners to make sure that I don't, um, like, super fry my hair. And then even the, the expensive um, bleach, which is like the prism, I think it's called, um, in blue, and which is a lighter uh, bleach lightener. So I've used the bleach lightener before because when I did Danielle's hair, but she wanted more of like a orangey, like caramel tone to it. And I want more of like an ashy tone to it um, before. So I used that. And then this is the after effect of that. That's why it's easy for me to do a box color because I've already kind of did it during the summer of just kind of dry brushing. I only do a dry brush. But then I just touch up every month or so of um, over here. <laughs> it's not working anymore. So I just want to go all natural. So I might as well just do like the gray. I'm afraid though that it will be like all black here and then here. But I don't mind the black here. Then the kind of gray and then like a black on the inside. So I'm just going to take the plunge. Hubby doesn't mind, huh hubby? No. I kind of like how I look though. I, my, okay, the, the tone of my face, of the tone of my skin is very, um, 
like like golden like a golden color naturally during the summer and then as winter it's like light but it's just that's it that's as far light as I could get <laughs> and so when I have black hair or black color like deep very super dark brown it doesn't really go well with my my tone my my skin tone the gray this one goes well with my skin tone I really love the color of this one that's why I've always colored my hair uh, younger like Danica my hair was like this as I got older it just became darker and darker because over time I think I've colored my hair so many times that it just became darker okay um, <laughs> enough about my hair wait let me sorry let me I get cramped but um it's not raining today friends it's not raining oh my gosh it's not raining Jonathan has it been raining for like two or three weeks straight yeah pretty much pretty much two or three weeks straight not a single day well look look the ground's still wet so it has rain but now it's not raining so it rained like early morning but since it's not raining and then i try i check my weather app it's not going to rain until about 11 p.m i got my new baby i got my new baby out because i have not used uh, my apple guard and even when it's raining i don't use um any uh bags i have that has the the vachetta leather because um even if you use the apple guard and i've used apple guard for about a year and a half now ever since i've been collecting lv it's only been a year and a half i think not even um my first the my first lv bag was 2018 and i want to say it was the fall 2018 which was the graceful i bought that at seattle um nordstrom they had a they had an lv section at the nordstrom in downtown seattle um then i got my my first my second lv with my client advisor david january of 2019 and all my LVs I've gotten from him, except when we went to um, Waikiki and I bought one of my Speedies. And then I want to say it's the monogram, I think, the Speedy 35 monogram. That one I bought in Hawaii, but the rest is from David and then the Graceful is from downtown. So, anywho, David was like, um, Diane, so how'd you like your bags that you got november because i went december 31st to get my my bag that i showed you guys with the putis machette and i go david i haven't used it he goes really <laughs> i go because it's been raining <laughs> but now that it's not raining i'm able to use her and i love it it's so comfy it's so the the feeling that i have when i have it you know cross body it's just like i'm i'm free i'm carefree it was really nice so i really really like this but i really need I, i've just been dying to to use it really been wanting to use it i look at it it's it's still in the box it's still in the bag it's it's in my bedroom and then it's like three tiered like how you guys saw it um on my um vlogs of like the christmas tree because it's still in there and i'm like i want to use it so I finally got to use her today, but I really want to order the Apple Guard because I think I'm out. I think I used all of it. And the Apple Guard, I highly recommend it. I've had no issues. It will it will still turn it patina, but it will prevent it from having the, the water spot. And that's what I don't want. I want the patina effect. I don't care so much for the brand new look of the Vachetta. I love the like the vintage dark yellowing leather effect so cannot wait to do um, to have it like that with my um, straps and other Vachetta parts of the handbags that I have but I don't want to have it like spots like round spots rain spots I don't know if I'm explaining it I'm sure I am do I make sense babe uh, I'm sorry I'm paying attention to the road I think you're Ooh. Be hot. It's not hot and cold. <sighs> Hubby always puts the heater on and I'm always hot. All right, cold? Danica, how was school today, my love? Good. Good. She dressed herself. She has her Valentine's Day shirt that says what? Sorry, boys, but Daddy is my Valentine. Yes. 
hubby picked it out. He goes, oh, I got to get that for my Danica. And Jonathan is wearing Lola. Lola is means grandma. <laughs> um, Lola's uh, Christmas gift for him that he got. He loves that. Very comfy. And hubby, are you wearing your, using your sling? Did you bring it? Oh, shoot, I forgot. Oh, um, hubby brought out his sling, but he's not using it as well. See, we can't. <laughs> you were rushing me out the door. I was. Yeah, he's like, awesome. he's like, babe, where's my, where's my sling? I, um, I got him a Louis sling back in November, and he's only probably used it twice, right? Oh. Because it's raining. <laughs> it's always raining, but honestly, friends, it's like our best investment when we travel. Uh, because it's so hard to be able to like constantly hold and then hold on to um, like big bags and then for him hubby has back problem so he can't he should not even though he still does he should not be putting his wallet into his back pocket because when he sits on it um, it makes it worse like when I say he has back problems he has back problems to the point that he had to get like a cortisone shot so we're very wary of his back issues kind of thing so that's why the sling I got him the sling the Avenue LV sling is gonna really work out for him because then he can just put his stuff in there little stuff that he carries around and not have to worry about his um, back issues as for me though um, nothing much I need to go home after Costco and start filming for you guys of my um, Sensi because it's back to work mode We'll see you guys at Costco. Aloha friends, good morning. Uh, Danny again. This is the next day since I vlogged. Danny again. And this time, what appointment do you have for today? They're cleaning my teeth. Oh, no, no, no. That's for that's for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This one is, uh, first she had the appointment for her braces. This is, I forgot. This is records, I think. This is records where we, uh, where we pay for her, um, her, her, her braces and then the 12 next week is when they actually put it on so three two appointments prior to actually putting it on and it's like two cities over and for some reason Jonathan's car would not disarm so what happened was I'm gonna put you guys here because we're a bit early sorry <laughs> so hubby struck but <clears throat> how embarrassing oh is it here? No, here. No, here. Where is this? There. Ooh. So, <clears throat> what happened was, um, Jonathan's car would not start. And whenever I have to go somewhere far to where I need to park, I have to use Jonathan's car because I can't drive the big cars. And, um, or I can't drive the big truck. Because you guys know I have no vehicle. <laughs> I, I kind of... What do you call that? Smooch off of people? What do you call that? When you're just kind of... What do you call it, Danny, when you're smooching off people? When you don't want to pay for your own things? Freeloader! Oh. Um, I'm freeloading off of my two children that drive and have vehicles and my husband. And so when I drive his truck, I gotta be... Oh, I don't even know why I'm... When I drive his truck, I was ready to go. When I drive this truck, I have to be aware of like parking situations. So let me guys show you. Oh, let me, let me guys show you. Let me show you all. So here we are on the side, on the street. So the sign says I can't park north of here. So I specifically park in front of here because there's like three cars behind me or three spaces behind me. So I just push in because I tried to go in there and Danny's like, oh, there's a lot of empty spaces there. And I was like, Danny, I cannot park there. I can back it in if there's like in, in the front if there's like two spots that are not or at least three spots I feel comfortable three spots not taken and then I can back it in it'll take me a while June 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 kind of thing so that's what I did when I went to the first dental appointment but um 
but i said oh to be safe because it's pretty tight let's just park here and i found this and this is just a perfect spot <laughs> perfect spot because then i don't have to back up i can go whoop out and then plus there's a light plus there's a left i don't have to yield oh my gosh this is like perfect driving condition for me and then he thinks i'm just weird <laughs> uh, we're pretty early because i wanted to make sure that i came in here early this is a 45 minute appointment i did a upload on my sensi channel of scents and warmers that i have been enjoying into my home and then um i'm gonna do a edit of a vlog so i'm like a few days behind what's today the seventh seventh my vlog that i need to upload i think it's the third the third of january so I'll, I'll mix up the two but um it's starting to get a little little warm so we've been waiting for after christmas after the holidays to install our kitchen cabinets hubby thinks that he can just do it i kind of want to hire someone to install it because we all the kitchen cabinets um it's going to be white is already downstairs we just have to order our countertop but our home is um hmm, our home is kind of weird it's custom built but we can't figure out if the person that custom built our home is either super tall or super short because there's just so many things that's just kind of off um like the ceiling is not like the average i think our ceiling is probably seven and a half feet we're kind of used to like maybe a foot or maybe nine hi chris it just feels like it's caved in it's like um the kitchen yeah i don't mind it being that way but then the living room areas i feel like it should be higher so that's one and then there's no storage space whatsoever we have two closets into the hallway one downstairs one upstairs but they have shelves so there's not really a stand-up one so we need to remove those shelves and then everything around the house was beige like um beige wall and then like a beige um trims for the doors and then it was gold like brass gold that was already rubbed off of like handles so we switched that to silver there's still areas where we like the stairs i need to paint that white um there's just so much work in the house and it's tiring you know it's like we did that for the first two years i think and then now it's like i don't want to do any more diy because it's just so tiring it's never ending oh my gosh friends all right so i had to pay Dan danny's balance or not balance just her her braces right so i'm like looking through my purse no credit cards <laughs> no driver's license <laughs> I'm a hot mess today. Well, yesterday it was such a nice sunny day that um, I switched out my purse and was using my bum bag. And so I didn't use my big wallet that's normally in my other bags. And so I took out my, I took out my driver's license apparently and put it into the pockets of that. I totally forgot when I left the house. So yeah, so now I'm going to drive home and Danny's like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, I can't get you any food. All right, so I'm just going to go home. <sighs> Wish me luck, friends. Uh, at least I don't... <sighs> oh, my goodness. Plus, I have another appointment later. Oh, why is this yellow? That's kind of weird. Huh. Oh, pen. All right, we're going to go home. Danny's appointment was done. They put rubber bands. I'm gonna take off my jacket because now I gotta really concentrate on driving. Oh, oh. And the sun's out, which is really nice. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm a loss for words.
need that for my makeup, my Alex. And then look, for my Scentsy, I can put two Scentsy warmers. A small one, or a low one at the bottom, and then top. Pretty cool. TJ Maxx, it's like, what, 24 bucks? Oh, for 24. Oh, wait, normally price, can you see at the bottom? Normally 59. Yep. Nice. It's cool. And then I'm getting this for $8. That Santa stop here. Are we going to get poke? Poke balls? What can we get poke? <laughs> you always hungry. I was going to say, did you want to go to PetSmart and try to see if they have your puppy in there? Uh, no. <laughs> they have puppies in there. Babe, I only want a puppy for the moment. We just got done with uh, TJ Maxx. Um, I needed another Sensi stand. <laughs> I looked for those stands um, at like Dollar Spot, but they didn't really have good ones at Dollar Spot. It's just a metal Valentine's Day theme one with hearts. I didn't want that one, so I got a very nice one. Uh, wooden one, I showed it out. And now we're hungry. Um, we wanted a Poke Bowl, but there's no Poke Bowl around this area this part of town that we're in so we're gonna go to Trader Joe's I need to get some veggies I want to grill like um grilling veggies I love grilling veggies and then grilling meat whether it's steak can you grill pork can you grill pork yeah, yeah. oh okay of course. Uh, grill the pork and then chicken and then you can add it onto salads or like bowl a rice bowl salad bowl and then um danica mostly because then she'll just eat it over rice danica's very picky but if you grill if you grill fish meat she'll eat it she loves grilled food but um other than that like it's so hard to feed her should, should we do a drive-by drive by where well not like a real like drive-by like 80s drive-by but like a food drive-by where well, we got to try to see if they have seating in our, in our place oh the pho yeah yeah okay because that's right next to trader joe's right yeah we can do that that is the one we like to go to one chinese restaurant and it's in downtown seattle so it's pretty far for us with traffic um it's it's only like 20 miles away right but with traffic it can be an hour or 20 minutes depending on traffic um fa place this is the one that we always go to and then plus you can park here babe it's easier mm. it says open well it's always said open but it just depends do they have it's seating fa, is the difference with fun tell your friends is fa worth getting on the go and bringing it home yeah so it is hubby wants to know will you please vote if you like to have fa nope no seating the chairs are up if you like to have pho on the go, because to us or to me, it's not the same. I cannot have pho on the go. We've tried a few times and it's not the same. I like pho. Um, Crown Plaza employs only parking. Oh. What? Mm. Oh, there's a Dollar Tree. I needed to go to Dollar Tree. I wanted to find some gnomes. Dollar Tree gnomes. Oh boy. What is Miss? Uh, Jacob. Mr. I mean, Mr. Mr. Jacob. Jacob is doing. Um, oh, friends, yes, this is hubby. His name is Jacob. Oh. <laughs> I never say your name. Mm -hmm. And I am Diane. Oh. How are you? Aloha. <laughs> we never say our name. I just, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't really think that anybody watches except, <laughs> except myself. I like to talk to myself. I like to look at myself on my phone camera and just talk to myself. <laughs> yeah, it's like she's always talking to herself. This gives me a reason to make me feel like I'm not crazy because I like to talk to myself and then I just upload it. But really, I'm talking to myself. Where are you going? I'm going to the dollar store. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to go in there and check it out. But yeah, I told you that the chairs are up. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, Danica's gonna pause because she's reading a book and Danielle's helping her. I said, oh, let me film this really quick so I can put it into the fridge. So I got um, just two bags worth of Trader Joe's. I wanted to show you guys. I have zucchini. I always get their zucchini over at Trader Joe's, but I'm hoping to grow it this season along with bok choy. I bought some um, seeds for that. 
from Baker's, is it Baker's Creek? Uh, Heirloom Seed Company. So I got that one. And then I got the strawberries uh, freeze dried for my Valentine's Day hot cocoa bombs that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add this onto the white chocolate to add more uh, flavor, like a strawberry flavor. I've got um, baby Shanghai bok choy. This was like, I think $1.29 for the, I think it, there's just two pieces in there. But this is perfect for the family when they're making ramen. Easily add this. And then I also add the corn that is uh, roasted corn from Trader Joe's and then um, half boiled eggs or lightly, um, I don't like the boiled eggs and ramen to be like really super boiled. I like the yolks to be somewhat a little, little bit ready. Okay, that one. And then I also got, I love these organic uh, baby broccoli compared to regular broccoli. I can't seem to really like the regular broccoli. Um, Daniel's looking at me. I don't like the regular broccoli, but I do love these long baby broccolis. And then avocados were really cheap today. I usually get the teeny tiny ones, but these are just the regular size ones. And these are two, <laughs> these are two Honeycrisp um, apples for my wine and cheese at night. I don't have it every night, but I probably have it. Danielle's making fun of me. I probably have it like twice uh, or three times um, a week. And then I also love opal. I think opal and honeycrisp are similar. Uh, sweet, sweet and tangy, sweet, crispy apple with exceptional flavor and accented with natural resetting at the stem. Hmm. But I like these with um, cheese and cracker and wine as well. And then for the kids, okay, um, Danica's learning. Yes. Yeah. Pizza. And it feels cold. Yeah, hubby wanted to try this out. I think he said it was like $4 for four pizzas, little beady ones. So beady, tiny, tiny <laughs> ones. Tofu, I got, this one is the soft tofu, I think. This one, uh, I don't usually get the pink one. I usually get the yellow one. I think this is more softer from what it feels like. And then I'll add this into like a, like a beef broth. Um, and then I'll also add in, um, some veggies in there. I have oh the bok choy. Maybe I can add in the bok choy for like a simple, uh, simple uh, meal of just broth and uh, tofu and um, simple veggies. Sorry, the girls are making me laugh. Okay, and then salad. Um, we grilled some chicken and then sausage. So I always go for grilled food like grilled meat, grilled veggies, grilled um, pork, grilled chicken grilled steak and then I love to um, add it onto like the mixed salad I prefer getting my even though I think this was two or three and then I can get like a large organic one at Costco I honestly prefer to get it at Trader Joe's because these this bag we can go through in two days but then the Costco once you open it, it feels like it's already spoiled once you open it so I like the Trader Joe's even though I spend a little bit more Hubby and the kids make their own pizza. Hubby likes this with just plain cheese for snack. Um, pepper turkey and apple smoked ham is their preferred deli meat. And I always, always just get my deli meat over at um, Trader Joe's. And if I get at the grocery store, I do the, the one at the deli when you ask them to pre-carve it, <laughs> pre-slice it. And then also... Mandarin uh, orange chicken, butter, and then hubby loves that mac and cheese. And then I got this one, uh, salsa special. So I'm going to start making my eggs in the morning of just, um, just the, what do you call that? Scramble eggs. And then I like to put like just little slices of onions, um, scallions, and then I'll start putting the salsa on top just to, I don't like the egg flavoring of eggs. I don't know if that makes sense to me. It's just very, um, it makes me very nauseatic. Not nos. <laughs> it makes me very nos. It makes nauseous. It makes me very nauseous. I've never heard that. Nauseatic. Danielle knows I make up my own word. Salted butter. All right, Danica. Hurry. Go ahead, baby. Go start reading so you can record. Okay, we're ready to record. Oh, you're ready? Okay. How do I record? Hold on.